Hi, I just wanted to do a vlog um, talking about um, my recent experiences. <clears throat> and I saw a documentary last night before I went to bed. <clears throat> and then I saw two more documentaries this afternoon. And within watching perhaps a second or third documentary, I read well, one thought or one observation I've had I had during watching the documentaries was that how people watching this documentary, like you could say quote unquote normal people, are gonna be scared and just because I've been there, and they're scared and believe that corporations have all the power. There's nothing you can do. And then by the end of the movie, when they show the scene where it's, oh, there's hope, you know, there's people doing the fight. And then within yourself, you think, okay, now I can lay back, I don't have to worry so much. I can just take life easy, not have to do anything right now. And I almost want to just yell at the documentaries to tell them, don't pretend, don't put a positive spin on this, let the hell ride out, say really how bad it is, that things, you know, because you have to face that point where it's, you're hopeless, you're, where you think there's no way out, and then with the support of others, you can see with others standing up and saying, we are standing for a new life, we are willing to change ourselves and stand, you can begin to stand too. And you won't be afraid of your hopelessness anymore, you won't be afraid of fear anymore. And we need is for each to be a leader, not the leaders as we have it now, but leaders in the world where everyone is a leader. We need equal, equalizing leaders standing up for world equality. And I'm asking you to stand up. If you don't know anything about the Estonians, then just listen to this right now. Just realize that there are people standing up for everything. Human, animals, plants, everything, the world, everything in this world from a toaster to a chair to everything is, is life, is equal. And there's a group who stands by that, completely living those words. And this is the only group has ever been serious about complete equality complete freedom and actual responsibility. Not any kind of patch up of the system we have now. Not a remaking, not a redoing, not a reconfiguring, but a complete shutdown and new program set up. We need a new something based on the principle of life. <clears throat> on the principles of the universe. Something that's actually reliable. Not what we have now. So, <clears throat> um, the documentaries I watched, one was by, posted on the Destiny forum on world news articles and links and it's a link posted by Marlen and it's about Tanzania and the Victoria Lake and the Darwinian you could say um, lifestyle which is just the lifestyle we have already it's just a a, a look into a country and an area that's being affected essentially by capitalism, but it's a very, um, I don't want to say simple, but 
a guy who went with a camera, and he, you know, he's a he's a good documentary in that he doesn't make the camera shake. He, he, it's a good editing, and it feels as if you're really there. You know, you like you're hearing the planes take off. You're just spending minutes just like standing there as if you're actually there, just waiting around, just listening to these guys, and just. And so, I would recommend watching it because it's important to educate yourself. Second documentary was about. Um, it's really similar to the third documentary. The third documentary actually talks about the second one, and the second one was about food, and about genetically modified food, and the future of food. That's the name of the documentary: Future of Food. I was able to watch it because I have a Hulu subscription. And if you have a Hulu subscription, then you can watch that documentary online on their website. Or alternatively, you can watch it on YouTube. I posted it on my Facebook. You can Facebook me if you want to. And you can also Google The Future of Food, I believe it's called. And it's on YouTube. It's 88 minutes long. Hour and a half, about. And it's, I would say, worth watching because it's also important to educate yourself. And it's not, <clears throat> well, it's uh, shorter than the third doc third documentary. The third one is corp The Corporation. And it's two, hour two hours and a half. It's really thorough, really in-depth. It gives you a good idea about the capitalistic model, but from the perspective of the corporation. There's some interesting things you learn in that documentary and how the the law is set up so that the corporation can be treated and is treated like a person. So he has rights, he has liberty, he has freedom, all these th things. <coughs> um, if you're into psychology, if you study psychology, it's really also really interesting how they actually do a psychoanalysis or cognitive analysis of a corporation as if as a person. It's pretty cool. And I would say watch it, all three. And I think it's better than watching TV series or all these things because you're actually educating yourself. And then you can actually promote it and help others educate themselves like I'm doing. And in this way we can impact change. And among these activities, I also do art for quality, also do other vlogs based on myself, self-change, self-realizations, and do what I can do. I practice my own breathing so that I can become more and more physical here through time. I'll get there eventually, but I know I can always apply this breath to get there. And it's an investment, it's a process, it's time. It takes time. And also, you should consider if you're having, if you're, even though you may know of Destiny, you may not be participating in the forums, I might recommend participating in the forums and just helping others when, you, when you're able to help others and to ask for help because in asking for help you're in essence, well from my perspective, you're helping another, which is yourself, which is what we need, don't we? We need each, everyone, to get themselves sorted out, as the expression goes, sorted out, and to be in a position of power and self-change. That's needed. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll probably see you again.